What is up guys, my name is Premium Aphid and today we're going to be doing a review of Red Dragon's M691 wireless gaming mouse. So before we start the review, we need to look at last week's first comment which was by Camden Wilson and he said good video. Um, I want to thank you guys for commenting so much lately, it has been awesome and really motivating. Also if you guys don't know already, every first comment of every video gets a shout out in the next video. So if you guys haven't already commented, make sure you go down below and try and get first comment. But anyways, let's get into this review. Today I'll be reviewing Red Dragon's M691 wireless gaming mouse. Or should I call it the Red Dragon wireless gaming mouse because according to Amazon and even Red Dragon's website, that is what they're calling it. So either I missed something here or someone really messed up. So anyways, let's take a further look into this budget wireless gaming mouse. So first off, this mouse has 5 different DPI options ranging from 800 to 2400 and I do not believe you can set any custom DPI options so that may be a throwback to some people but personally for me, I don't really care that much. This mouse uses wireless 2.4 GHz technology which means you can use it up to 30 feet away from your device. But personally, I don't see myself ever using this more than 10 feet away from my device, so if you need more than 30 feet, I really don't know what you're doing. This mouse comes with a USB receiver that is built into it. All you have to do is slide it out of the mouse and plug it into your computer, turn on the mouse, and then you're all ready to go. It's really easy to hook up, it just took me like a minute, literally, so that was one really nice thing about this wireless mouse. Next, this mouse is powered by one AA battery and Red Dragon claims that its battery life can last up to 15 months. So I obviously have my suspicions about this, but I really can't tell until I've had this product for at least a year, I guess, because I've only had it for a month. So whenever this mouse dies, I'm gonna come back to this video and try and comment down below how long it lasted. Hopefully I can get a year with this battery, but I have my doubts. Speaking of battery life, this mouse also has an eco option which basically just turns off all the extra LEDs on it so that you can squeeze some more battery life out of it. Another cool thing that Red Dragon added to this mouse is the auto sleep mode. Basically after 8 minutes of inactivity, the mouse will go to sleep and to turn it back on, all you have to do is just click a button. So while we're talking about buttons, let's look at some of the extra buttons on this mouse. So first up, we have the two DPI mode buttons on the top next to the scroll wheel. These are pretty self-explanatory. Just click through them to go through all your DPI options. Next we have some buttons on the thumb side and we have a back and forwards button and then we also do have one extra button for your thumb. And it's actually designed kind of cool, so your thumb's not resting on it all the time. All you have to do is move your thumb up a little to push the button. And I actually really like the way that was designed because it still keeps it comfortable where your thumb's just not resting on something and getting irritated. So I was pretty pleased to see Red Dragon think of that. So let's look at the design and feel of this mouse. So first up we have the big thumb rest and I really like it because it keeps your thumb off of the table or the mouse pad and it just really makes this mouse feel really comfortable. And it also has a soft touch material which is really nice. It's not like cheap feeling, it actually feels pretty nice, which is kind of impressive for $13. I really have no complaint with how this mouse feels. This mouse also looks pretty good, but there are a few flaws that I noticed. First up, if you look at the mouse head on, you'll notice that there's a little gap in the plastic where it seems like there's a design flaw. And then there was another flaw that was a little bit more annoying for me. Basically, it's just one main LED shining through the entire mouse. So you get a really concentrated section of the light for the logo and then all the other see-through sections just kind of bleed the light out. So it's not very bright and Red Dragon kind of misleads you in their pictures because it looks like all these clear sections are blasting light through. But in reality, you can barely see that the light's shining through in some areas. Even with these minor design flaws, I think this mouse is well worth it for $13. So overall, considering this is a budget wireless gaming mouse, I am pretty impressed by Red Dragon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you drop a big thumbs up down below. If you guys have any questions like usual, just comment in the comment section down below. Also, if you guys want to buy this mouse, make sure you buy it through my affiliate link down below. It helps support the channel. Another way you can support my channel would be by subscribing and turning on notifications. I post every Saturday, so if you guys are into tech content, I'd consider subscribing. But anyways, I think that's going to be it for this week's video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Reality, it is touching the truth. Thank you.